Good morning, Grade 12. I know that most of the classes, we have done the terms of trade already, um, but I know Key 6 hasn't, and I'm not sure of the other classes, so I'm just going to send this lesson. There's also some changes and some additions that you need to make in your textbook, so please just be careful of, be aware of that. Right, so the terms of trade is on page 88, I think, in your textbook. And the terms of trade shows us the relationship between the prices of our exported goods and the prices of our imports. So in two countries trade, basically it boils down to how many of my products I'm going to be giving to you in return for how many of your products you're going to give to me. Okay, there is an index figure. So if we want to calculate it, you are literally going to take the price of a country's exports over the price of a country's imports and then times by 100. Okay, remember because it is an index figure, that is why we multiply by 100. It does not give us a percentage. Okay, the answer is just going to be a number. There's literally no unit. Right, so if we just look at the example. Okay, if we export 100 units, now 100 gadgets we are exporting at an average price of 1,000 Rand per unit. That means the earnings for our exports is going to be 100 units times by 1,000 Rand per unit. That's going to be, our revenue is going to be 100,000 Rand. If at the same time we are importing 200 units, and the average price of our imports is 500 Rand a unit, 200 times 500 is also going to give us 100,000 Rand. So basically, we have to export 100 items in order to earn the 100,000 Rand so that we can afford to import 200 units. Right, so if the price of our exports now decline to 800, it was 1,000 Rand per unit, now it's 800 Rand per unit, if we still export 100 units, remember we change one thing at a time, Ceteris Paribus. Right, we change only one thing at a time. So the price of our export is what is changing. If we are still exporting 100 units, the earnings from our exports have now decreased from 100 units times by 1,000, which was 100,000. Now we're only earning 800, so 100 units times by 800 rand means our earnings for export is only 80,000 rand. So before, in the original situation, we had to export 100 units in order to earn the 100,000 rand to afford the 200 units of imports. But now, because the price of export is lower, if you work it out, you'll see we're no longer exporting 100 units. You will export 125 units because 125 units times by the 800 rand, which is the price, is going to give us the 100,000 that we need to import the 200 units. All right. Now, a way just to make it easier to see is that we can also calculate the terms of trade. Right. So before the change, our average export prices was 1,000, our import prices was 500. So if we substitute that into the formula, I'm literally going to take 1,000 Rand, that's the price of our exports, divided by 500 Rand, which was the price of our imports, times by 100 because it's an index figure, that is going to give us a terms of trade of 200 Rand. As you can see, it is just a number, there's no unit. After our export price has decreased to 800, if we calculate the terms of trade now, we will take 800 Rand, price of our exports, 800 Rand, divided by the price of our imports, which is still 500 Rand per unit, and then 800 export price divided by import price of 500 times 100 to get the index is 160. So the terms of trade basically decreased from 200 to 160. Okay, the terms of trade declined or it had deteriorated.